Here we have John in Tarbert, Scotland. Catherine, John, and Anne, our Scottish friend and guide, are on our way to catch a ferry to the Isle of Islay. Here we have Catherine in Tarbert. Notice the castle on the hill in the background. On the hill is the Royal Castle of Tarbert. The castle was rebuilt in 1325 by Robert the Bruce, King of Scotland. The ferry to take us to Port Ellen on the Isle of Islay. A three-masted ship ready to sail from Port Ellen. The three-masted ship passing the Port Ellen Lighthouse. The three-masted ship is now under sail. Port Ellen. Port Ellen again. Anne leads us on a walk to the American Monument in the distance, situated on the south coast of the Isle of Islay. An obstacle on the way to the American Monument. Catherine and Anne on the walk to the American Monument. John on the walk to the American Monument. The monument was built to commemorate the loss of more than 700 American lives in two troop ship disasters off the coast here during World War I. Anne and Catherine at the American Monument. Placed on the monument is a plaque presented by President Wilson, dedicated to the dead of the two troop ships. The Tusania was torpedoed and the Otranto broke up in a violent storm after running into cliffs. The monument overlooks the cliffs where the troop ship Otranto broke up. This is a split picture. At the top is the Kilchoman Military Cemetery on the Isle of Islay, where hundreds of American soldiers and British crew from the troop ship Otranto were brought for burial. At the bottom is the troop ship Otranto before the disaster. Catherine and Anne traipsing through the daisies. This is Singing Sands Beach, refers to the sound of the wind amongst the rocks. Catherine and Anne at Singing Sands Beach. Catherine and Anne at Mechire Bay Beach. Stopped at a lay-by on a one-track road. A roadside store. You take something from the cooler and leave money in the box. A boat repair yard at Port Nahaven. John and Catherine at Port Nahaven. Are these crab traps or is this art? Killa Rao Church in the town of Balmore is where Donald Caskey is buried. He was responsible for the safe passage of exiles through Scots Kirk and Paris during World War II. The Kildalton Cross, carved 1,300 years ago, is one of the finest early Christian crosses in Scotland. More carvings from 1,300 years ago. The Ardbeg Whiskey Distillery is one of nine whiskey distilleries in Isla. Here we are having lunch at the Ardbeg Distillery. We had a nice walk through a forest on our last day in Eilie. We are now back on mainland Scotland on the Kintyre Peninsula spending a few days in Campbelltown. Notice the Ukraine flag on the flagpole. The Lady McCartney Memorial Garden 
in Campbelltown. On the south coast of the Kintyre Peninsula, you will find an old Coast Guard station, two self-catering summer cottages, and a high mound to climb on called Duniverti Rock. On the south coast of Kintyre in 563, it is believed that St. Columbo and 12 followers came ashore there from Ireland just 12 miles away. They were on a mission to spread Christianity throughout Western Scotland and beyond. Notice the sign. It gives directions to the Keel Caves and to St. Columba's footprints, which are ancient carvings of footprints in stone. Catherine and John exploring the Keel Caves. Catherine at one of the Keel Caves. Anne and Catherine in one of the Keel Caves. Also on the south coast of the Kintyre Peninsula, you will see large seals. Now we are on a day trip to the Isle of Gia, just off the west coast of the Kintyre Peninsula. Painted stones in Gia. Anne and Catherine exploring Gia. The Giga Hotel. The Giga Fire Station. Catherine and Anne at the entrance to the Akamore Gardens on Gia. This is where you pay to enter Akamore Gardens. John shaking hands with a Ganera Manicata plant at Akamore Gardens. Catherine smelling the flora at Akamore Gardens. Catherine and Anne taking a rest break at Akamore Gardens. Catherine walking past tall plants at Akamore Gardens. Catherine and Anne waiting for the tide to go down so we can walk 40 minutes to Devar Island, a tidal island in Campbellton Lock. You can see it in the background. We can't walk yet, so we'll just watch the sailboats go by. We still can't walk yet. Now we can walk. Halfway there. Almost there. All that is left of an ancient dwelling on Devar Island. Anne took a picture of this painted sculpture in one of the caves on Devar Island. It was found not to be an ancient relic. Our visits to the Isle of Eilie and the Kintyre Peninsula are now over and we are heading to Edinburgh. But there is one more sight to behold, the beautiful Kyles of Butte. Kyles means water channels. The Isle of Butte is on the right and mainland Scotland is on the left. 